Making decisions is an essential part of human life. It's something we do every day. Often, this involves evidence accumulation, in which newly acquired information is used to update existing beliefs and select future actions. For example, let's imagine we're playing basketball. As you bring the ball down the court, meeting the defense, you face a choice. Do you pass to a teammate or dribble to the hoop? At first, passing seems the best option. Your teammate calls for the ball and has good position near the basket. But then you spot a second defender. This is going to make the pass difficult. As the seconds tick away, you notice a gap in the defense opening to your right. You dribble to the hoop, lay up, score. Evidence accumulation is as crucial in our daily life as it is in basketball. But how exactly does the brain combine past experience and new information to make decisions? Hi, I'm Benjamin Scott. In this video abstract from the July 19th issue of Neuron, my colleagues and I will be discussing our recent progress understanding neural activity during accumulation of evidence. For this study, we trained domesticated rats who have a nervous system similar to our own to play a game in which they must accumulate evidence to find rewards. Then, we recorded, with two-photon microscopy, neural activity in the cerebral cortex while rats played the game. Hi, I'm Christine Constantinople, here to describe the accumulation game we designed for rats. Actually, better than describe the game, I'm going to let you be a participant. On the screen in front of you are two black squares. Right now they are static, but they are about to start flashing. Your task is to count the number of flashes on the left and right and guess which side had the greater number. The flashes are brief in time and they will come in rapid succession. If you are like most people, you won't be able to count the exact number, you'll probably just get a vague impression. Are you ready? Go. Which side? Left? That's correct. If you didn't get it, you can rewind the video and try again. But don't slow down the video, that's cheating. Rats can be taught to select the side that showed more pulses of light, and they make remarkably accurate decisions. To achieve this level of performance, their memories of the number of flashes must be both durable and flexible. How could this type of memory be implemented by the nervous system? Here is Professor Carlos Brody to tell us about two competing theories. Scientists have two competing models about how evidence accumulation might work. The current leading model, which we'll call the homogeneous model, proposes that a specialized network of neurons all increase their rate of action potentials at the same time when evidence is presented. The more evidence that is presented, the greater the activity in all of these cells. In an alternative model, which we'll call the heterogeneous model, neurons do not all become active all together and all at once. Some respond quickly and transiently to new evidence, while others respond later or more slowly. In this model, memory is dynamic, with information passing from neuron to neuron. It predicts that sensory events produce a wave of activity that travels through the networks as early responding neurons return to baseline and slower, later responding neurons increase activity to carry the signal. In order to distinguish between these two possible models, we recorded how the rat's neural circuits respond while the rats are playing the game using two-photon cellular resolution calcium imaging. Two-photon calcium imaging is a technique that allows us to sample the activity of very large numbers of neurons in the intact nervous system. This gives us a dynamic picture of the patterns of activity across the brain. During decision-making, these patterns can be remarkably informative. Even with just a few neurons, we could accurately predict which choice the rat would make before they made it. Essentially, reading the mind of the animal. Things got interesting when we looked in detail at the responses of neurons to pulses of light. Each pulse triggered a wave of activity that slowly spread through the frontal and parietal regions. Although the response of each neuron was relatively brief, together they contained enough information to accurately predict the number of pulses that the animal saw. This activity was best explained by the heterogeneous model of memory, which you heard about earlier, and suggests 
that evidence may be collectively encoded by groups of neurons that respond in diverse ways to new information. The brain may use this remarkable strategy to create memories that are both flexible and durable. This allows us to make decisions based on past experience, but also adapt plans as new information becomes available.